Opposition uproar over FLDL once again rocks both houses of parliament, effects proceedings. Releasing strategy for New India at 75 document, Finance Minister says reforms and entrepreneurship have to be accompanied by social consciousness. Telecom infrastructure in the Northeast would be augmented further, says Union Communication Minister Manoj Sena. ISRO adds another feather in its cap by launching the 35th Indian communication satellite GSAT-7A by its fourth generation launch vehicle GSLV F-11. And several students of the NGO, Hiku Haroti, received the first ever first access micro scholarship that designed to provide the foundation of English language skills. Good evening and welcome to the Northwest News. This is Hans Raj and now the news in details. The uproar by the opposition over the Rafale aircraft deal and other issues again rocked Parliament today. The Rajya Sabha was adjourned for the day and the Lok Sabha till 2 p.m. As soon as the Rajya Sabha met for the day, Congress members were raked up by Rafale yet against and rushed to the well, displaying placards in support of their demand for a joint parliamentary committee probe into the deal. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Vijay Goel accused the Congress of disrupting proceedings, adding that the government is ready for a discussion on Rafale. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Narendra Singh Tomar rejected the demand of JPC probe. He, however, assured that the government is ready for a detailed discussion on the issue. He said the apex court has cleared all the air over the deal. Amidst the continued noisy since Speaker Sumitra Mahajan tried to run the zero hour, but in vain. Later, she adjourned the House till 2 p.m. Members uh, holding placards also prepared. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley today said reforms and entrepreneurship have to be accompanied by social consciousness. Releasing the strategy for New India at 75 document in Delhi, Jaitley said aspirations of people are growing and the strategy encompasses growth in all areas including infrastructure and health. The Finance Minister stressed on sound policies to get the economy on track. Jaitley said determining the strategy for New India will give an idea of where India stands. He said it was about time that the agenda for India for the years and decades to come was laid down. Speaking on the occasion, Niti Aayog Vice Chairman Rajiv Kumar said segments in the strategy document include governance, infrastructure and inclusion. Agriculture is a major focus area with strategies to double farmers' income. So the aspirations are growing, people are becoming more impatient, they want things to happen faster. And therefore, if you look at the various uh, verticals in which uh, the Niti Aayog's proposal for a strategy for new... Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Giriraj Singh, today said that for the first time ever, the Indian Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSMEs, are seen competing on the global level. Addressing the 15 Global Small and Medium Enterprises Business Summit in New Delhi today, the minister said the procurement by public sector companies from MSMEs has been raised to 25%, out of which 3% is reserved for women entrepreneurs. He said in course of ease of doing business, the government has made it possible for new entrepreneurs to register themselves in just three minutes. He said financial lending, which was given to 11 lakh entrepreneurs from 2010 to 2014, has now reached to 17 lakhs. He also stressed upon the inclusion of latest technology to deal with trade deficit. Union Communication Minister Manoj Sina has said that telecom infrastructure in the Northeast would be augmented further. Responding to queries of members in Lok Sabha during question hour, amidst the noisy scenes today, he said the center has consulted the state's concern to take them on board in the process. He said the states have to support BSNL in securing no objection certificates for installing communication towers in hilly tracks without delay. He said projects worth 8,500 crore rupees for augmenting communication infrastructure in the northeast would help significantly improve telecom facilities in areas that remain underserved. Assam Finance Minister Himanta Vishya Harma today announced for the launch of three new agricultural schemes in a state that is Assam Farmers Credit Subsidy Scheme or AFCSS, Assam Farmers Interest Relief Scheme AFIRS and Assam Farmers Incentive Scheme AFIS. Addressing media in Guwahati, Himanta Vishya Harma said under the first scheme the state government will deposit 25% of the total amount paid by the farmers for the loans availed between April 1st, 2018 and March 31st, 2019. 
and under the second scheme, the state government will pay the 4% interest of the loans taken by the farmers. And under the third scheme, the state government will cover the 3 lakh defaulty farmers in the state. He said all these schemes aim to bring the farmers into the banking system. He also announced that a Assam Chief Minister will lay foundation stone of Kokrajhar, Nalbari and Tinsukia Medical College on 6th, 7th and 9th January 2019. Meanwhile, he also announced that the state government will release the phase 2 of Sahabagisa Dhan Puraskar scheme under which the tea workers will get their second installment of rupees 2,500 in their bank accounts, he said. The Utoroho, Sorano Boy Sonor Pisot, Amidetia Duhezar Utoro Noisor Cotapa. Aiming to give boost to startup initiative of the central government and generate awareness on entrepreneurship development, FICCI Northeast Advisory Council is holding a series of workshops built as Enterprise Northeast in Northeast states. The first workshop of the series was held at Agartala on Tuesday and was inaugurated by Deputy Chief Minister of Tripura, Jishnu Dev Verman, in presence of additional Chief Secretary of Industries and Commerce Department, Dr. G.S.Z. Iyengar, MD of Machishan Fabric, Dr. Smaram, and Professor Gautam Dutta of IIFT Kolkata. Inaugurating the workshop, Jishnu Dev Verman outlines BJP-led government strategy to combat the unemployment issue that the youths of the state are facing, and the state government is, of course, trying to bring industries for large-scale employment, he added. Newly constructed 30 battered integrated Ayush Hospital, Noklaku was inaugurated on Tuesday by advisor Prison Sprinting and Stationery H. Hiring. In his speech, the advisor stated that Noklak is fortunate to have the Ayush Hospital and called upon all to contribute towards the functioning of the hospital. He thanked the landowner and people who took the responsibility for constructing the hospital. He further requested the department to facilitate all materials required for the hospital and staff to serve the needy people. The program was chaired by Dr. S. John. Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, JNIMS, observed its 11th Foundation Day on Tuesday. Speaking in the event, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh disclosed that arrangements are being made for Prime Minister Narendra Modi to lay foundation stone at three different sites for improving the infrastructure of JNIMS during his expected visit on January 4th next year. He stated that the government is making all out efforts to upgrade JNIMS to the level of AIMS. The Chief Minister reiterated that the government will make all out efforts to enhance the hospital and ensure adequate manpower despite budget constraints. Health Minister Al Jayanta Kumar also spoke in the event. And also second honors in my GSLV F11 carrying GSAT 7A was launched at the Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Harikota today at 10 minutes past 4 p.m. GSLV F11 is ISRO's fourth generation launch vehicle with three stages. Regarding the satellite, GSAT 7A is the 35th Indian communication satellite built by ISRO and is built to provide communication capability to the users in KU band over the Indian region. GSAT 7A will be the last satellite to be launched by ISRO for this year. With a lifespan of eight years, the satellite will be used in collection data over the Indian region. The satellite is said to enable the Indian Air Force to link its ground radar op stations, its air bases, and airborne early warning and control system airplanes. This is the second communication satellite for the Defense Forces. The first one was Rukmini, which was launched in 2013 for use by Indian Navy. For the first time, few lucky and talented students of Hiku Haruti, an NGO, received the first successor micro scholarship on the inauguration program held at Hiku Haruti in Guwahati on Tuesday. The scholarships were presented by Jamie Dragon, who is a public affairs officer and director of the American Center in Kolkata. Speaking on the occasion, Dragon said that the scholarship is a program that provides a foundation of English language skills to the selected 13 to 20 year old talent students from economically disadvantaged backgrounds through intense sessions. He also added that the program equips the students with strong English language skills that can lead to better jobs, education opportunities, and gain ability to participate in and compete for future exchanges and study in the United States. The English Access Micro Scholarship is a two-year global scholarship program supported by the U.S. Department of State. 
Manipur Science and Technology Council, NASTEC, and National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, Akampat, jointly observed a National Mathematics Day in Imphal East today. Speaking of the event, Commissioner of Science and Technology Department, IAS T. Panmei, stated the subject mathematics is considered to be a tough subject by students. Especially the students from hilly regions are poor in mathematics, which shows that they are not working hard on it. He urged the teachers to be more attentive while teaching the subject. Executive Director of uh, NILIT, Akampat uh, T.H. Parmeshwar, Director of NASTEC, T.H. Surendranath, and many eminent persons stressed on the various topics of mathematics. <laughs> Tripura Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath on Tuesday admitted that the state is lagging behind when it comes to education in spite of having talented students. There is no doubt of quality students, but the state is not doing well in the education when compared to other states. To address the problem, the government has decided to introduce an ART curriculum from next academic session, he said, while speaking at an educational workshop at Agartala. The training of teachers will start from January next as they need to be acquainted with the new syllabus of NCERT, he said. The minister said that translations and publishing of books in NCERT format have already been completed and ready for distribution. Resource persons from NCERT and officials of State Education Department joined the workshop. In Manipur, four state police personnel who were recently charged by special investigation team set of CBI in connection with an alleged fake encounter case were surrounded today before the chief judicial magistrate in Far East. They are identified as then head constable Muhammad Shaukat Ali and then constables Thiam Brojan, Muhammad Wahajuddin Khan and Muhammad Anwar Hussein. It was reported that the team had allegedly killed one Soram Ranjit at Hatha Golapati during February 16, 2008 and a charge sheet was submitted on December 6th by CBI in connection with the alleged killing before the court. Assam Tourism Minister Chandan Brahmo announced that the third edition of the 12th day Duzing Festival will kick start from 27 December and continue till 7th January 2019. He was addressing the media at Guwahati on Tuesday. Brahmo also released the festival logo. More than 15 lakh tourists are expected this year during this festival, said the tourism minister. The main aim of the Duizing Festival is to uh, promote river tourism is there in the rural areas of BTC and the state. Assam Tourism Development Corporation Chairman Jantamolla Borwa also spoke in the press meet. Hello, Omar. And before winding up, the headlines once again. Opposition uproar over a fail deal once again rocks both the Houses of Parliament, effects, proceedings. Releasing strategy for New India 75 document, Finance Minister says reforms and entrepreneurship have to be accompanied by social consciousness. Telecom infrastructure in the Northeast would be augmented further, says Union Communication Minister Manoj Sinha. Astro adds another feather in its cap by launching 35th Indian communication satellite GSAT-7A by its fourth generation launch vehicle GSLV F-11. And several students of the NGO Hiku Haroti received the first ever first access micro scholarship that designed to provide foundation of English language skills. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.